Hey guys, Todd here. Today I want to show you real quick the latest thing that I'm installing on my Maverick. I've actually installed it now. Uh, and that is this right here that's in red. This is the Airlift uh, Load Leveler 1000. So it's going to give me up to a thousand pounds of load correction in the back of the truck. What that means is if I have a whole bunch of weight in the bed of the truck uh, or if I hook up to a big heavy trailer and it starts to kind of squat down, um, I can put air into here either with a compressor that I have as just a regular compressor or I can have it set up to uh, use a, a, a remote compressor that's actually attached to the truck uh, specific for the airbags. So I'm going to go over it with you real quick. Let me walk over, flip this around, and show you what we're looking at. All right, so here are the airbags. As you can see, they go inside the coil spring. Um, and what happens is you've got uh, the line that comes up to the airbag to feed the airbag. Right now, I've already got it under pressure because it's already installed, so I've got about 10 pounds of pressure on it. I may be releasing some of the pressure off of it whenever I get it on the ground. We'll see. I, I've been noticing a little bit of a squat just because I've got a whole lot of stuff up on top of the bed and inside the bed. So um, I carry a lot, around a lot of weight with me uh, for what I do. So so that's that. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you that line, that air tube comes down uh, through here, comes out over on this side, and here's the line. Um, now, this opening in the lower control arm uh, is a little bit rough, uh, so I did uh, file it down a little bit to kind of you know uh, get it nice and even uh, or smooth. I also put some foam tape on these two areas as well as where it comes up here. I've got some foam tape over here. I did the same thing on the other side. Uh, but essentially what happens is this line comes up. Um, now in your instructions, it's going to show you to run, run that line all the way back down to here and then come out uh, at the bottom of the bumper. Now, on my truck, I do go off-road, and I have had um, the bottom of the bumper kind of bite into some mud. Uh, so I don't really want anything hanging down that low. Uh, so what I did on mine, um, and this is a universal application, so it's however you want to rig it up, right? So I actually have that coming up this way, it's routing up around here. And then I have uh, the, the fill valve right here. It's just a regular Schrader valve, uh, just like you have on your tires. Uh, so you can just add some air right here. You can go up to 30 PSI of air, um, and that will give you, and when you go to 30 PSI, that's 1,000 pounds of load correction. Um, if you're wondering about how this is installed, um, I, I did this per the instructions, and so what you do with the, with the, the airbag is you squeeze all the air out of it, which is easier said than done, um, and, uh, and then you, once all the air is squeezed out of it, you put the little cap back on the end of it, and then you force it through here and down in, in, into, the, uh, uh, into the spring, and then once it's all the way in there, you pull the cap back off so air can go back up in there and you form it to the spring. Um, that's a lot of work, guys. I just want to give you a, a quick heads up. Um, I did use a tire tool, uh, a blunt tire tool, to, to get it shoved in there because it is very, very tight when you're trying to squeeze it into uh, these spring openings. Uh, but I was able to do it. Um, I've heard other people say, hey, I couldn't even get that done like that, so I had to pull everything apart. If you'd have to do that, well, you know, sometimes you have to do stuff like that. But I was able to put it in here uh, without having to remove any springs, so I didn't have to loosen any bolts or anything. I just put, put the air spring in there. And, and by the way, the airbag is a spring. Um, compressed air is considered a spring. Uh, but, um, but I've got the airbag in there without doing any mechanical work on the truck at all. Um, I did have to... Uh, uh, pop some fasteners and all that to pull this out so I can get uh, uh, to this location up here and put the valve in. Uh, but I also want to point out they do, if you've got the stock exhaust, which I really am not sure why I still have the stock exhaust. I don't know, maybe I'll get to that one day. Um, but it does present, uh, present a little heat there, so they give you a heat shield to install on top of it. Um, and then above here, this is where my line is going. They've also got a little sleeve to go around that to protect it from heat as well. That's the closest it gets to your exhaust at any point. 
Um, so, um, and then over here, this has already got uh, a heat shield from the factory on it. But anyway, that is the air lifter, uh, air, the air lift load leveler 1000. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'm gonna leave a link uh, to the real truck uh, landing page. So if you're interested in getting them, you can put them into your cart and have them on their way to you. Take care.